Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca Automation playlist. And today we are going to discuss about another interesting topic. So during automation of any web application, it is very important to clear all the old cache which is stored in the browser while you're automating or running your executions uh, inside your browser, right? So you always want to start fresh uh, in your browser and you want to delete all the cache. So this is one of the prerequisite steps which we follow uh, while executing any particular test case or automating any particular application, right? Because uh, there could be some data which is left over and which might affect your uh, executions or your automation. So in order to clear cache from the browser, right? Uh, you can do it manually uh, from the Chrome browser, right? So if you go into the Chrome browser, and uh, on the right hand side if you go into the settings you go into more tools and then there is an option for clear browsing data right and uh, you can select cached image and files you can also delete the browser history uh, you can also go into advanced and select others and then click on clear data to completely clear the cache right so this is the manual way of doing it now if you want to do it automatically through your automation tool uh, so we are working in tosca and Tosca uh, provides a T-Box automation module, which we have already looked into, which is called the T-Box Start Program. So using this T-Box Start Program, we can clear the cache from any browser, okay? So in this particular uh, video, I'm going to show you how you can clear cache from the Chrome browser. You can apply the same method for any other browser like IE or Firefox. So let's go ahead and create a test case here, and I'm going to uh, name it clear chrome cache okay and as i said i will be using the tbox automation module which is called the tbox start program okay and in this tbox start program we are going to open the command prompt okay so we are going to type cmd here in the path okay and then we are going to pass a lot of different arguments into this okay so we'll be starting off by uh, putting slash she so which means it will be running a particular command okay and then in the next argument we are going to give that command which is the del command okay del means the delete command after this we need to pass some parameters for this delete command okay so we'll be passing slash q and then we'll be passing slash s and then slash f okay so these are all the arguments which we need to pass along with the command okay also, we need to pass uh, the exact uh, folder path where our cache is stored for the Chrome browser. Okay, so by default, this will be the location. Okay, so it will be under your user, app data local, Google Chrome, uh, user data default, and cache. Okay, so this is the cache data which is uh, stored from the browser. Okay, so if you have selected any other folder location for Google Chrome installation, then it will be uh, something different. But uh, by default, if you have selected the default location for Chrome, then this will be the path, okay? So uh, let's copy this path, and then uh, we are going to put it as an argument here, okay? You should also surround this path with double quotes just to make sure that uh, this, the, the slash signs are not interfering uh, with the actual value, okay? So you need to escape uh, this uh, special characters okay so these are all the arguments which we need to pass now if you want to understand what are the different arguments which we have passed okay so apart from slash she so all the uh, different arguments for the delete command you can open it uh, in your google chrome just go and search for windows uh, cmd delete okay and this will give you all the different uh, syntax uh, along with the arguments or parameters which we need to pass okay so if you see here um, this slash f it force deletion of read only files okay so it forces the deletion uh, it doesn't ask you to delete or it doesn't ask for any confirmation before deleting the specified file for that you need to specify slash p okay uh, but for automation purpose, you should always use this uh, forced deletion. And then uh, slash s, so it will delete the specified files from the current directory which we have specified. Okay, 
it will also display the names of the files which are being deleted and then slash q is for uh, the quiet mode so it will basically perform the task on the background okay so that's that's the quiet mode you can also give um, all the other attributes if you need to okay but uh, these are the arguments which we'll be using uh, for our purpose okay so let's go ahead and run this and let's check whether it is working or not okay so i'll run this in scratchbook and you will see a small black window which opened uh, very fast and it closed also right so it was showing you all the files which were deleted so if you've got a lot of cache you could see that um, command prompt deleting all those files in the background okay but it was pretty quick okay because i didn't have a lot of cache um, stored uh, from the chrome browser okay so the test case has passed and if you just want to make sure whether the cache was deleted or not go back to that particular folder uh, and then double click on cache data okay so the folder will be empty which means uh, all the cache uh, was deleted for the chrome browser okay so this you can uh, do it for internet explorer or even firefox okay you just need to take care of this particular argument where you are passing the path of your cache folder okay so that's all for this particular video i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new today if you have any questions leave it in the comments uh, do keep watching for more videos um, coming up on tosca and other automation tools do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified about every video we post um, on a regular basis so until the next video keep learning and keep watching